this summer down at the Drury College uh, when we played our summer games, she seemed good. Uh, she's worked hard. She's worked with Matt Pugh to get herself back in shape. And right now you're just seeing a great junior season out of her. She has averaged nearly 21 points per game in helping to lead Quincy Notre Dame to a perfect 6-0 start. And in so doing, Blair Eftink doesn't appear to have missed a basketball beat even if she missed all of last season recovering from surgery to repair a broken hand. Right after the surgery, it was I could move it pretty much like a week later, start doing therapy and stuff, and there's still the plate and like, screws in there, but it doesn't bother me or anything. And I just like trust it more because I know that it's like fixed now. She just does great things for us as a team. Uh, gets out there, is an available scorer, plays great defense, and we truly missed her last year when she broke her hand. But having her back has been a big, huge lift for our team, and I think that's why we're off to such a great start. Uh, after my first few games, I had a lot more confidence. I feel like I've been finishing a lot better this year than when before I hurt myself, so I'm kind of doing things other than just being a shooter this year. and trying to get to the basket a lot more. Obviously, as, as her coach since her sixth grade year, um, you know she's just matured and came a long way. So um, she's just a focal point of what we're trying to do. Teams are starting to take her away, but she's adjusting to that and finding a way to facilitate others. Blair's return this winter has filled a critical need for the Lady Raiders in helping to deflect some of the defensive attention away from All-Stater Abby Schreck. Uh, Abby and I have played together forever, so it's just we know how to work with each other, and I knew that she would step up when I was out, but I know that this year I need to step up and help her and take some of the pressure off of her because obviously everyone's going to be all over her when we play a team. And as evidenced by Saturday's win at Unity, this all-hands-in approach with the Lady Raiders is contagious. Playing Unity, they really um, guard, put a lot of pressure on Abby and I, but the rest of our team stepped up really well that game, and it showed that it's not just us two and that we have the whole team that have our backs. And also necessary, moving into a monster scheduling stretch. It has been, and it only gets tougher. Uh, we obviously have SHG on Thursday and Havana, who's undefeated, coming in on Saturday. But, uh, you know, looking forward, I like where our team is going, and they're taking steps in the right direction.